heartfelt namaste i anuradha would like to thank all of you for liking sharing subscribing to our youtube and spotify channels and writing in your comments and suggestions there we've often wondered as to what leads a person to be an occultist to do a lot of research into the sciences that are not an everyday science and require intense uh, sadhana require intense uh, gut feeling and everything and those professions uh, are the professions of an astrologer of a palmist all the occult sciences to come together so what are those areas of life or what is that particular house an important house to begin with in the chart that would lead a person in that direction as we begin we need to understand that the fifth house is very important in the chart of a occultist or an astrologer or palmist all such people and those people who want to increase their spiritual quotient why so to begin with time is ruled as the past present and future when we talk about the fifth house the fifth house talks about the children children are as we all know our future and it is through our children that we leave behind our legacy the fifth house is also the house of mantra shakti it is when we keep practicing the mantra something that we do uh, all the time in the future also we would be doing to enhance our understanding of a vidya of a knowledge which is different from what we seek in life the fifth house is also the house of interpersonal relationships such as love affairs so when we want to see love affairs of a person in future or what the person is entitled to in sense in terms of love life it's the fifth house that we see the fifth house is also a very strong house of finance the finance that we speak in respect to the fifth house is more in terms of speculation it is more in terms of gambling it is more in terms of um unrealized uh, or sudden bonuses or dividends that a company may give us so this money is great uh, on the topic that we are talking today that is the ability to read the future to see the future the fifth house is a very strong house the fifth house talks about our um, stomach also and then the fifth house is the intuitive power that we have the gut feeling that we have is seen from the fifth house so if this fifth house is strong for a person then this person would have a lot of gut feeling combining this with the ability to do the mantras the ability to attain siddhis because the fifth house is also related to the siddhis such a person would start going up higher and higher on the level of knowledge level of understanding of things and would attain an ability to go delve deep into paravidya what is paravidya paravidya is that kind of knowledge that is not an everyday knowledge that is not one which is easily accessible but one which has to be worked for on different planes and connects one to divinity astrology palmistry all these sciences vastu all these sciences connects person to nature to divinity to destiny and hence has a strong connection with the fifth house we can take different planets associated there see the fifth lord if it is posited in the eighth house that's a general dictum uh, that if a fifth lord is posited in the eighth house then that gives a person a very strong uh, movement towards astrology or uh, paravidya because the fifth house the fifth lord talks about these kind of knowledge and the eighth house is a house of hidden knowledge so when the hidden knowledge and the ability to assess the hidden knowledge are together one makes an excellent astrologer when we talk about the ketu in the fifth house ketu is a planet that gives spirituality it is a planet that gives intense knowledge especially spiritual knowledge so when ketu is placed in the fifth house one 
has an easy accessibility to these knowledge provided one works hard for a couple of years one ha works hard for a, a some time before one can access that knowledge a mind a mind is a warehouse of a, a past um, a past that we bring forward in this lifetime and moon for the, is representative of our mind it also talks about the tendencies that we can show now if jupiter which is the karaka for paravidya also it is the karaka of higher knowledge so if jupiter aspects the moon uh, by way of its fifth or ninth uh, aspect then there is a, so, a strong chance especially or if a moon is in the fifth from uh, jupiter then there is a very strong chance that a person can access the knowledge of the occult or can access knowledge which is connecting one to divinity the same can hold true when moon uh, when uh, jupiter is in the fifth from moon because fifth from moon would show the kind of tendency one would have uh, towards knowledge or the kind of tendency that one would drift to for his or her learning so that also gives one a strong sense of knowledge that knowledge or ability to move towards the knowledge that would connect one to the divine and obviously uh, astrology and all these sciences are the ones that eventually connect us to the divine makes us realize the divine power i take forward two examples they are very well known examples one of kiro and the other of sephiria um kiro is somebody who is very well known to us and even sephiriel because these are the two people who had come to india and had worked really hard for trying to find out uh, from interiors of the indian villages what the paravidya was about kiro succeeded to a certain level because we see that he has his ketu well placed in a very strong sign placement for ketu in the sign of pisces which itself connects a person to the divine and ketu there is very comfortable very strong on top it all it is in the uttar bhadra nakshatra which is the nakshatra of ahir buddhanya the uh, the god of the cosmic skies so it's a very beautiful placement of ketu and that too in the fifth house jupiter the dispositor of ketu may be debilitated but is aspected by the lagna lord mars so and in turn also aspects the lagna lord mars so it gives him a uh, connects him to a knowledge which is very strong which is very powerful and he has the ability to access this knowledge intuitively when we look at the chart of the sephiria uh, of sephiria sephiria was one of those astrologers who two years before his death wrote down the exact time and date uh, of his death and gave it to his daughter stating how he could meet his death so uh, he is uh, he is very well known in his writings in his books not just in the west but people who want to know more about transits and all should read his book because he is really given very strong fundamentals on those when we talk about uh, sephiria's chart he also has ketu and his ketu is in the kritika nakshatra the nakshatra of sun the nakshatra of agni and being in a fire sign gives him a lot of spirituality a very clean personality that makes him easily accessible or that makes him assess the paravidya the knowledge which is beyond the mundane very easily for assessing the knowledge that the fifth house is capable of giving us one needs to follow a lot of uh, protocol and that would help us become better and greater astrologers till we meet with you again stay safe and don't forget to write in your comments and suggestions thank you please hit the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel